Hello, big kids. Here's my big San Diego Comic Con 2013 My Little Pony display. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's the Transformers. <laughs> got you. Anyway, here's some new Transformers. Yay! We got Dreadwing. Uh, this is the wave that will be coming out here soon. Looks cool. Uh, yeah, we got Goldbug, uh, IDW version, of course. Uh, Goldfire, as he's called. And. Yeah, and then Waspinator Terrorize! Oh yeah, Waspinator, he looks amazing! Definitely even better than the classic Beast Wars figure, and I'm so happy for him. Oh, uh, I know we got a Cheetor and Dinobot, and uh, you know, a few, you know, Dinobot figures, but um, I definitely always welcome more Beast Wars figures. If they're not doing G1, do in Beast Wars, that's what I'm always happy about. Uh, yeah. I just couldn't stop looking at him. He just looks so awesome. I love the wings. Oh uh, yeah, and here are skids. Not the you know, uh, you know, not the racist robot skids. It's the uh, yeah, yeah. It's upgrade town. You know, it's uh, it's actually who won it. Rhinox. Oh yes, yes. He looks yes, yes, yes. As Daniel Bryan would say, uh, so much better than the um, classic Beast Force figure. And looks so cool. Love him. Oh man, I want them so bad. Yeah, these Beast Force figures are probably the figures I'm looking forward to the most out of anything that's been shown at BotCon and San Diego Comic Con. Oh yeah, and then, um, gosh, I forget his name, but like, he's the Blitzwing um, repaint. You know, he's cool. Uh, like, yeah, I know the character, I just name what they want to call him. And then this guy, yeah, I. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, Whirl, and then the other one was, uh, yeah. Anyway, here's some Legends figures. Uh, the Prime, the Roller, that's came out, the Bumblebee, and Blaze Master. Um, by the way, I hate at uh, the bottom of Swerve and Flanker that the white alighted uh, ba uh, display bases make it make the exposure so weird, but I'm trying to get it best for you guys. Cosmos, yay! We got Universe Cosmos, but this guy, just awesome. It's even better. Looks so cool. Megatron and Chop Shop. <laughs> and yeah, so Starscream looks cool. And here we got Asset Storm. I did not pick him up. Uh, I don't plan to because even though I like the mold, I would rather have Starscream, Jesus, or Skywarp in that mold. Well, I got Skywarp thanks to Sharmus Prime. Thank you, buddy. Um, but yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't want to do a, a really odd Seeker. I, I like my Seekers in 3, so yeah, Soundwave, I got the Takara one for all you guys, uh, good hunting at Toys R Us, because this is the better package, unless you really like the red eyes like I do. Um, you get all five cassette cassetticons and all everything, I mean, wow, this is such a great deal. For 120 bucks. I mean, they can charge 150 it's so good. I got this guy. Um, the only real difference I noticed is that he doesn't come with the armor and he has those yellow highlights. Purple's a little bit different, and then of course you got the base, so it's cool. I like Shockwave a lot, so I, I picked them up. Um, so expect to review this guy pretty soon here. Uh, here we got more um, Legends figures, uh, characters uh, like Scoop and yeah, stuff I don't really plan to pick up. This one's cool, Starscream Armada. That's pretty cool. Uh, the mini compacts. So yeah, they're really dealing in the well of all Transformers. The Scrap Metal Reflector, now that's pretty cool. Yeah, so pretty awesome. So I'm trying to get them. And then uh, you can also pre-order this right now at BigBadToyStore.com. The G1 uh, Predaking, King, uh, you know, like exclusive, which is, you know, awesome. You know, if you like G1 Predaking, King, it looks pretty amazing. And it's uh, not that much money at all, so yeah, it's a pretty good deal. So and then there's the, the Platinum Series Omega Supreme. Almost got this, but I got that Project Genesis Fall of Cybertron, uh, or War for Cybertron Omega Supreme. So yeah, but my buddy John 3.1 would be them. Uh, there's Ultra Magnus. I got the Transformers Prime Ultra Magnus. This is the Platinum one. So it's a repaint of the uh, Weaponizer one. I believe, yeah, yeah, the weaponizer one. So yeah, very really cool if you want a big Ultra Magnus. Oh, and here's this guy just came out of BigBadToyStore.com. It's the Platinum Series 
Grimlock versus Brew the Kiss pack, so six Transformers or one Combiner and, you know, uh, a Voyager period, not a bad deal at all. Here is the Linkin Park Soundwave, which I do not get why it's gold. It is ridiculous. I love you, Linkin Park, but why a gold Soundwave? I have no idea. And then um, we got the uh, uh, Cybertron Omega, or Optimus Prime. Yeah, I believe this is Cedar or Mana. God, I forget. I really didn't care for those toys, guys, so forgive me. Oh, and then there's the Titan Guardians. If these guys were like Robotech figures and they were articulated, I would have bought these in a heartbeat. But nope, they're just like Action Masters or, uh, yeah, really disappointed. My friend Kyle got this and then just returned it because, man, the box was upside down and everything. So the, uh, subscribe to the TF review. He's awesome. Here's a bunch of, I believe this is the Constructor Bots. Yeah, so here's some Constructor Bots. I filmed part of this and then I filmed the rest a bit, but they're cool. Yeah, and then these guys are, are hilarious. Uh, I forgot what these things, the Loyal Subjects, they're adorable. Kind of mind me of Mighty Mugs. I miss Mighty Mugs. Anyway, and then the hats. Yeah, so some cool IDW comics and a little con Mimo bots. And here's the Constructa bot, or like the paper bots where you make them. That's pretty awesome. And more Mimo bots. Uh, now, this is pretty cool. This is like the little binder type thing. And more uh, Predacons. And yeah, just more paper cut bots. And yeah, I was just trying to get the, all the Transformer stuff that was in there. Some pretty interesting stuff. Now, this uh, I can become anything. They say I can become anything, so I became a truck. I love that. Great shirt. And here's the Transformers Prime Beast Hunter stuff. You know, like the giant uh, old, uh, Ultra class, Optimus Prime, whatever. I, I'm thinking about picking up, but yeah, I don't know if I should just get the Voyager one or that one. Yeah, and then there's another Voyager one with all this armor. Same with this Voyager Predator King in black with his tail. There's like three different Predator Kings. It's crazy. I know they're going to do the Predator. Uh, Predacons Rising movie coming out this fall. All these Predacon figures that I don't know who they are, like Windraiser and Laserback and um, Rip Claw and all these characters that have yet to make their appearance on the show. There's Prowl. Really awesome. And then there's more of the uh, Cyberverse figures, which is cool, but yeah. They made Bludgeon out of the Shockwave mold. Pretty, pretty cool. Dive bomb. Like I said, the I, I stopped collecting the Legends figures. I do have some for my Metroplex, which I'll be reviewing later today, but yeah, uh, not for um, Transformers Prime. I sold them all or returned them, whatever. Um, yeah, more uh, Cyberverse stuff. Some interesting stuff, interesting repaints. And here we got uh, now another Predator King in blue. Or whatever. Blue Pretty King. It's film blue double D double da. And then there's uh, Shockwave and um, Cyberverse. And then uh, yeah, like colors are pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then you know, we got more Predacons and yeah, more more characters. Yeah, yeah. This is just. If you guys are loving the Beast Hunter stuff, Night Child, Bumblebee, we'll be in everything. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, here's Bumblebee, which was awesome in the series finale, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters. Uh, yeah, did you guys see it? It was awesome. Oh, there's Skylinks. I love that they incorporated Skylinks in here. Maybe get him just because he's Skylinks, because I love him. Uh, Darksteel. Really awesome. There's a Constructor Bot. Pretty King, which is interesting. Looks actually pretty cool. Uh, and then there's the, is this the Ultra one? No, this is just another Voyager one. I think this is the one that might, uh, maybe, yeah, this is the Light of Pretty King. A lot of Pretty Kings, man. A lot of Pretty Kings. Um, oh yeah, here's the 30th anniversary figures 
uh, Hoist, Megatron, IDW one. Love that they come with a comic book. IDW Bumblebee. You know, the packaging looks great. Orion Pax. Yeah, definitely plan to get these guys. Thundercracker, which is awesome, but they need to make a Skywarp. Credit King Rising, two packs or sets. Abomination, or what is this? Yeah. And then there's Nether uh, Dark Steel, which, you know, cool. <laughs> and Skylink, so here's the packaging for them. Man, so much uh, for a show that's any man. Oh, here we go. This is the Beast Fire Prey King. I definitely gonna get this guy when I find him and Grimling yeah a lot of the Predacons and and there's the Beast Hunter, there's Optimus Prime the the huge one and then there's the Megatron in the uh, Sharka Sharka Con um, uh, repaint yeah it's really cool that's awesome wonder if he's gonna come back like that on the Grimling it's pretty awesome you guys I mean they're good figures I just wish a lot of these characters were in the show and there's Prowl Woo! so it's cool that they incorporated Prowl gave him a new head sculpt too I believe there's Knockout repaint and yeah more Predacons like the Laserback or yeah very cool and so much <laughs> Transformers Prime Beast Hunter stuff it was crazy Hopefully next year we'll see, well next year we'll have movie stuff and uh, generation stuff. So, And there's more Constructobots. These Constructobots are pretty cool, but yeah, like it's like with the Creo stuff. I prefer transforming my Transformers, not like constructing them. Otherwise, I get Lego. Anyway, um, what do you big kids think of all these new Transformer figures, like the Generations figures, the the Transformers, Beast Hunters, Predic Predacons, Rising figures, uh, Masterpiece figures, uh, the G1 reissues. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And for all your uh, San Diego Comic Con 2013 coverage, go to bkbn.net uh, for more. Uh, I'm Sean Long. Remember, celebrate your them in a big way until all are one. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. Go to bkbn.net. I tell you to go. Go down.